All right, welcome everyone. I think I'm gonna start doing intros for these because they're gonna end up on YouTube anyway, most likely. So welcome, uh, my name is K. Michael Russell. I am a comic book colorist. And in this video, I'm gonna actually kind of finish up this uh, piece that I started on last night. And I will, uh, I'll actually kind of back up and show you guys what I did to get to this point because I, I tweaked this a good bit after the stream ended last time. So I kind of walk you guys through uh, what I did and then you guys can watch me finish this up if you want. And let me just post real quick on Facebook and Twitter. So people that can find me. <laughs> so, all right, so I left this off last night. What is this layer? I don't know what this layer is. Um, I left this off last night about here. Um, I've, it's mostly done. Um, I've got a few, uh, the, the handles on the swords and a couple of this techie stuff. I'm just gonna clean that up a bit. And I also wanted to explain how I got to this point. And if you missed last night's stream, basically an image like this, you've got several characters, you still have one focal point or, 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 or a major focal area, I guess you could say, in uh, this, this main character here. And uh, so what I did, I did a few things. Um, I put a, this is a gradient map over most of the image, and it's it's very very subtle, um, but it's basically a uh, a purple and orangey. I think it might be even the default in Photoshop, uh, purple and orange uh, gradient. And uh, I set the uh, the gradient map adjustment layer to color mode, which uh, if it's in normal mode, it, it's a little bit different. It looks kind of like that, but that affects the value. So. Uh, it's a gradient map adjustment layer in color mode at about 25%. So what that what it really does is it kind of ties everything together a bit. So and it also cuts down on some of the harshness in, of the colors in certain areas. If you've got a color that's almost out of um, isn't jiving with the other colors, it helps to sort of rein it in. Um, if you've got one color that's like too saturated or something like that. Uh, lens flare or uh, reflection, little whatever in the hell you call those things, uh, on the uh, blade in the front. A what did I do? What else is in here? Uh, there is a color lookup adjustment layer. So if I turn this, how do I turn this off? I can never remember the command for that. <laughs> Hold on one second. Okay, that's interesting. Not what I wanted to see. Uh, there we go. So I disabled the mask. This is what it looks like over the entire image. Uh, it's just a color lookup adjustment layer, and uh, which is just a way, it's a different way of uh, of adjusting colors. And so I, it's desaturated everything, and it has um, uh, again kind of given everything kind of a bluish purple hue to it. Uh, what I did was on the mask that is associated with that. Um, made it to where it only affects certain areas of the image to again give you a really strong focal point and and if what the combination that i click there to see that there we go alt click um so here you can actually see what's been affected um, the black are the areas where i basically completely got rid of that effect so it's completely painted out and then you can see in the background behind her a little bit i uh adjusted that a bit. So what you end up with is, you know, she's now more saturated, she's, there's more contrast, she's brighter, all those different things are working together to kind of uh, create a strong focal point. There's a little bit of a, of a levels adjustment to brighten that up, basically just in the center for, again, sort of the same, same reasons that we just talked about, um, better focus. I also actually my Photoshop sometimes, where was I? So yeah, I did a bunch of adjustments. I desaturated, uh, I actually changed the colors of everyone else just a little bit, desaturated those even more. So uh, again, you end up with um, uh, 
more contrast because now you've got all the con you've got all the um, you've got all the the contrast and value in the middle of the image again to beat that dead horse. And I also, last thing I think that I did is they, I color holded, I changed the colors of the lines on these guys way back in the background and lightened those up. So you end up with some atmospheric perspective there basically to make them look like they're further and further away. Um, so anyway, all of the tricks are, <laughs> are, all, are there to get you focused on where it matters. So I really like the way that it turned out. Um, and so anyway, but like I said, there's a couple of things that still need to be uh, adjusted on this. So I'm just going to start tweaking away at this. Now I don't know, I don't actually know what these things look like. Um, attack on Titan. Um, I don't know what color these handles should be. So I am looking for reference. Okay, so I found a pretty good image of what all this little techie stuff is supposed to look like. And I want to thank everyone that uh, attended the stream last night. That was my first uh, Twitch stream, or my first. It's my first stream on Twitch Creative, definitely. Um, I think I may have like a long time ago tried Twitch. I don't remember the details, but um, it was a long time ago, and it was before I had a channel even on YouTube. I think so. Uh, but the first one that I've done here as a uh, uh, since I've had the YouTube channel started anyway and I know people like to lurk if you want to lurk and not say anything that's fine if you have questions I am terrible at talking and working at the same time uh, so I will uh, I will check it every now and then and try to get better at the whole explain what you're doing while you're doing it thing because right now I'm kind of crap at it <laughs> again these guys are like off in the background not spending a ton of time getting these things perfect because they're way off in the background render strategically as I say render where it matters I want to thank uh, Ralph also for auto hosting me. Um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what that does. I think that means that if you go to his channel, it shows my channel, <laughs> my Twitch channel. Uh, I am not a, uh, a Twitch expert yet. Um, so yeah, you have to bear with me. Thank you, Cree, <laughs> for someone's explained what's going on to me. Yeah, I need like I need my handheld right now. Um, <laughs> what am I looking at? So far, though, I'm I'm digging the whole. Um, Twitch seems to have a much better handle on sort of the community stuff. You know, it's um. 
uh, YouTube sort of feels unwieldy at times, like especially with the live streaming, it's it, it's it doesn't seem to work quite as well. It, um, I can't even find the chat window sometimes when I'm trying <laughs> trying to use it. The couple of times that I've live streamed on there, so um, who knows? And these things are actually the same color. I'm kind of checking reference every now and then just to see what this stuff looks like. And what I do sometimes is I'll turn off all of the um, layers on top to make sure that I pick the right colors. Uh, color picking with a lot of adjustment layers creates some strange things sometimes. These straps are actually kind of dark. And actually what I like doing sometimes, I should probably do that now, is I'll actually group all of these adjustment layers together. Uh, really great group, group for layers. There we go. And I'll call this like adjustment layers. And that way I can just toggle them all off at the same time. And Brooks is here. Hello, Brooks. Uh, it's Brooks' fault that I'm here. <laughs> uh, or not his fault. No. It, is, it was... Uh, uh, they, uh, Brooks uh, works with uh, with Twitch, and uh, he actually reached out to me, and I thought that was pretty awesome uh, about Twitch Creative. And I knew of it and, and knew it was there, but um, he gave me some cool ideas and, and some ways that it can help to uh, you know get, get me out there in different ways. And so I thought that was pretty cool, and I appreciate him stopping by now. Let's see. That's one thing that I've, <laughs> when I'm, uh, I think Brooke and I actually talked about this. Um, I watch a lot of, um, of, of digital painters, you know, on, um, on YouTube and at different places and Twitch. And uh, they, um, when you, when you, when you do a lot of speed videos, Every, every stroke looks perfect in speed videos, sped up videos, because, you know, speed paintings and those sort of things. Because you don't see all of the, you know, all the little read draws and let me tweak this. And it, but it all happens so fast, it all looks like it just comes together perfectly automatically. And um, it's a significant amount of time is usually just the artist sitting there looking at it, <laughs> at least in my, in, uh, at least for me. So, um, so anyway, um, uh, those of you that are, that are following me from, from other sites, uh, you might see me just stop sometimes more than usual. Um, that is the reality of coloring is you're not going to get it exactly perfect every time. So, uh, sometimes it helps to just step back and see what everything looks like and, and take it from there. Um, and I'm looking at this reference. Um, let, let's see. There's. Um, I'm still looking at reference images from the show. I, I've watched most of the first season, but. Uh, I don't really, um, I don't like religiously watch it or anything, so I'm just not that familiar with all of the characters and what their costumes look like, so don't be afraid to check reference, see what things look like. And even it looks like different artists interpret them in different ways, so. All right. Sorry, my wife's sneezing again. All right. Whoops. All 
I don't know what this little, I'm, I'm trying to find this a picture of this little circular thing. It's not that important, I'm sure, <laughs> but someone, some fan is going to be like, that thing's not gray, it's blue, or whatever. I'll try to get it right. but I'm about tired of looking for it. So. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna kind of generically leave this about the same color. And I'm sure someone will correct me at some point. <laughs> getting pretty close to being done. Oh, I see Kree's comment. Uh, glad you got the stream up. Beats watching EVE online streams. <laughs> That's one thing that I have never really done much of is watch gamers. Uh, there are a couple. There's not even a couple. Let's, there's a guy on YouTube that does a lot of... Uh, the, the Kerbal Space Program um, game. And I just, I find it entertaining. Um, but, uh, and uh, even PewDiePie sometimes. I know I'm like not his target demographic, but when I'm in the mood for just to laugh at something dumb, um, I don't mean that in a bad way, but <laughs> I, uh, I'll watch him sometimes. I'm, I'm, right now I'm actually looking, uh, I've just noticed this patch that is, um, that I haven't done anything with. Okay. And let's do this. So, we have lots of pictures now and Looking for a patch. Okay, that patch has a logo on it. I wonder if he meant to do that logo, and that one has a different logo on it. So they different logos on different arms. No, that's the same logo on each arm. Or a patch, I guess it is. Someone's going to tell me like she was upgraded or she got a promotion or something and then the patch changed. <laughs> Whoops, sorry about that. Let me turn this off. Let's do this. Attack on Titan arm patch. Let's try something. I don't do this very often, so I will probably stumble my way through this. that tool is it uh, warp I'm terrible at like the, the, the 
um, what you call it, all the techie stuff in Photoshop. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like I just figured out what masks were in Photoshop like a year and a half ago. Um, that's terrible, but true. There is a warp in here somewhere. Distort, pinch, shrivel. Is it liquefy? I know what I want to do with this. Um, and let's see. Close enough. The art of DHT. Hi. No, you're a fan. That's good. I don't take that as a creepy way. <laughs> I love fans. Fans are awesome. Thank you. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you liked the videos. I'm glad you're here. This is um, uh, something I hope to be able to do more and more often. And let's see. It is amazing how little that I use an eraser. There it is. <laughs> and let's see. You guys are getting to see how much stuff I don't know. <laughs> Oh, you're, uh, could, uh, could Jimmy Starship on digital, uh, what is that, uh, not digital, uh, DeviantArt? Yeah, I will have to, um, I will have to look you up here in a bit. I have, I have a DeviantArt account. I don't keep it as up to date as I probably should. I'm not on there as much as I used to be, but, um. Let's do this instead. Um, I think I mean, it's been there a long time. I want to say like at least 10 years, maybe more than that. Um, it's close to that. If it's not that, I'll have to go look it up. But that was the first art site that I ever really found on the internet. And I was blown away by how awesome everybody was. <laughs> Because when you, like, I'm from a pretty small town, and so I, you know, my graduating class in high school was like, you know, I don't even know, it was 80 something people. And um, so it was just, uh, like I said, it was small. And in a class that size, like, there's only. I think there was me and one other guy. Oh, and he wasn't even in my class, but I was like the guy that draws, <laughs> you know, like in the whole class. I was like the only guy that was uh, was really into art and all of that. And uh, so uh, when I got on when I got on the Deviant Art, and it was like there are lots of people <laughs> like me, uh, and uh, it was uh, it was very eye opening. Um, 
to say the least, to, uh, to be like, oh, I'm not the special snowflake that, <laughs> that I thought I was. That was probably way too much work for not enough payoff, but close enough. I have a Tumblr. I don't really. I'm not really active on Tumblr. Um, I think when I post to my blog on the, it, I can dump it on Tumblr also. But I'm not. I don't have enough time <laughs> to to be active in all the communities. I also have an Instagram. Um, it's it's all just K Michael Russell. If you Google me on either one of those, uh, you'll find me. Um, I don't post a ton on Instagram. I probably should. Um, but anyway. It's not something I do very often. realized this was the wrong color. Mm, oh, I've got a mask affecting that or something somewhere. Uh, let's get rid of that and delete that, delete that. Same color. What have I got in here? Something is affecting it. <laughs> oh, it's the gradient map. Cool. Well, you've been pretty busy. <laughs> I'll take a look at that later. All right, so this is pretty close to being done. Um, I'm going to, I need to do something with these just a little bit. Uh, let's see. Really not much left on here except um, there was something I saw earlier that I wanted to tweak and I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, I don't want to overdo the lens flares and whatnot, but we can do a small one right about there. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. Yeah, we'll keep it simple. Oh, there's something in the inks. The paper um, <laughs> is actually the paper he used. The is actually coming through here. So um, let's see the best way to handle that. Can we just delete it? 
Why is that happening? Okay, that's weird. Oh, I know why. I think I know why. No, I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, I had the... Um, the transparency locked so it wasn't um, uh, it was doing weird things when I tried to erase all this stuff I'm just gonna select all of this so I don't have to manually paint it out and then I can paint it out whoops eraser Yeah, all I did was just select that part of the background and just delete it. And it's actually in a couple of other places here. I can't use the eraser shortcut because I have my um, I have my lasso tool set to that, just because. I prefer to keep all of the uh, I prefer to keep all the Photoshop tools on the left hand side of the keyboard and I just use the lasso much more than I use the um, eraser so I've remapped whoops I remapped most of that and it keeps switching to the brush because I'm used to brushing <laughs> It's not something I have to do very much, by the way. Um, so, some artists kind of, most artists kind of pre-clean their work ahead of time. Uh, some don't, um, and uh, he doesn't mind if I go in and clean up the inks and uh, because the original inks are, are not as sharp as what you guys are seeing. So I went back and, um, you know, handled some of that and got rid of it. And, most of this stuff is probably not even going to be seen <laughs> when it gets printed. So um, I'm probably doing too much, but I'd rather do too much now than end up having to clean it up later. when they print it it's actually gonna they're gonna chop most of this off I don't know how familiar you guys are with comic book printing processes but this area is typically cut out um, and so you leave plenty of room in the art for that and the pages that you buy um, to draw on if they're you know, like comic book art type pages then they probably have these lines marked off for you If anyone's watching, you have questions, feel free to ask away. All right. His signature is so close to the edge, I wonder if it's going to get cut off. It's right on the line. Um, if he's doing this as a print, though, I don't know if it will. We'll see. And sometimes I will type my name in, other times I will 
draw it. Uh, I feel like drawing it today. My only rule about uh, signatures is that it's smaller <laughs> than the artist signature and below it. That's typically how that works. Uh, the question is, does your principle of coloring apply to Manga Studio 5? Uh, the principles, as far as the concepts, yes, definitely. Um, it's pretty much, the tool doesn't matter that much. Um, Photoshop, of course, is kind of, if there's a standard, I guess you would call it the standard. But um, Clip Studio, I think, Manga is what it's called now, is Clip Studio. Um, that or art range or any of the number of painting programs the the general principles and the color theory and all that stuff is is the same in all of them um, now as far as the tools themselves like can you take my tutorials and apply it most of it yes um, I would say the vast majority of it you can um, but there might be exceptions for um, you know certain um, yeah, certain tools, of course, are going to be different in different ways and all that kind of stuff. So it's, um, it just sort of depends on, um, depends on the program, but typically they're all pretty similar. So, um, I probably wouldn't sweat that too much. But if it's a program that I'm not familiar with, obviously I can't really speak to it. Um, so we'll see. I've got some weirdness in these flats. I don't know exactly what I'm looking at. It looks like part of it is shifted or something. It's only in certain places though. It's subtle, but I don't think you would actually notice that in print. But I would rather fix it now than later. Sure, you can show it um, if you like. I don't, know, I don't know how this works. I don't know if links work or not, but <laughs> all right. I think this one is done. I don't see anything else that I want to color here. Um, So, so yeah, um, you wanted to, uh, if you want to show something, I'd be, I'll look at it. And if any guys have questions about anything you, you saw or didn't see, let me know. <laughs> it just showed up as deleted link, so, uh, I don't. I don't think that's going to work. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a JPEG and send it to my friend Geoffrey Gwynn, who is the artist on this, and see what he thinks. And he tends to like, <laughs> he tends to like what he sees. He's easy to please. Uh, so uh, we'll see what he thinks about it. And go ahead and wrap this up for now. Anyway, so um, if I have um, uh, if I have something else that I can show you guys uh, anytime soon, I will. Um, I will stream it, but uh, if um, I'll, I'm gonna wait around for a bit to see if there's a way that uh, if it is that piece on your DeviantArt site, maybe I can check it out there. Um, 
But if you enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to uh, check out the links below the video. I've got my course and my channel and all that stuff on there. And follow me on Twitch. I keep trying to say, so what do you, I guess you can subscribe too. Someone can have to explain to me the difference in subscribing to a channel and following a channel because I don't even know. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the difference is. So um, there's someone in the chat here. If you've just joined us, who sent me this link earlier. Um, highly, <laughs> Cree highly recommends my course. It's freaking great. I want to slap that on the website. It's freaking great, people. It's freaking great. Yeah. But uh, to uh, Mr. Uh, the Art of DHT, is, uh, which piece was that you wanted me to check out here? Was it any in particular? or uh, Follow just lets you know when a person is streaming, a sub is paying you money. Okay, cool. <laughs> they just pay, what, I guess, no ads? and uh, I really need to do some homework. <laughs> on, uh, uh, that's cool, yeah. I should learn something about what I'm doing here, probably. Going with the portal. Okay. Did you? I'm assuming you drew and colored this. Is that? Let's see. Yeah. Looks. I don't see any other credits on there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The um, okay, I see. I don't know what badges are. I have to look into badges. <laughs> I'm gonna become a Twitter, a Twitter, a Twitch expert here before long. But um. Uh, only thing I would say uh, about this piece are there's a bit of a delay uh, in what I'm seeing in the chat. Um, the uh, the rendering in places looks just a little random, um, you know. So um, like some of these kind of splotchy rendering over here, it, it's it's kind of hard to see what what the goal is there. You just want to make sure you've got. You know, strong light sources, and um, uh, and that it's clear where the light is coming from, and everything you render should, um, uh, you know, should be uh, that should be in the back of your mind is um, uh, that the light source should be clear, and um, and uh, and yeah, like it's like I said, uh, that's really your uh, the main thing is just making sure that your rendering is. Um, makes sense uh, given the light sources and it also is really hard to judge coloring um, when you've also drawn it because you know problems in the line art can you know mask problems with the coloring and, and vice versa so uh, from a coloring standpoint it makes sense to you know color things that um, you haven't drawn for like portfolios and whatnot for feedback because that way uh, you know if you if you can find some some professional, um, you know, line art of, uh, to uh, to do. Then that way, you know, there's there's no question that if there are problems on the page uh, in the coloring, then it's obviously problems with the coloring and not some, you know, weird uh, line art issue. You know, that kind of thing. So. Um, oh, cool badges. Gotcha. I haven't, uh, something else uh, you guys can help me out with here. Um, the viewer list, let's see. I can click on it and it hides the chat window. I can close it 
and it disappears completely. But if I want to show the viewer list, there's a little pop-out thing, but it seems to hide or parts of the chat window then. So, <laughs> so I, I, I can't quite figure out um, the best way to look at viewers um, that are in here. I don't guess it, I mean, it matters, but I don't, um, it's not super important to know everyone's name that's here, I guess, but I thought it would be cool to see that. But I might have to, someone told me there's a bot for this or something. I will have to, I don't know how to use bots yet, so I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> he said he can't help with that. I've never had any viewers. Oh. Nightbot is cool. Yeah, I have to check into that. There's a lot of stuff Twitch does that I haven't yet dug into, so I have a lot to learn. And uh, thank you for the follow, by the way. My uh, phone is telling me you follow me. Awesome. Well, cool, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and maybe I will see you again soon. So see you guys in the next one. Take care.